what's up? I'm driving again. Pushing my luck like normal. Gas gauge is a little on the low side. <laughs> Forgot to put gas in because uh, got some more news in the mail and just got forgotten. Heading to go get my medicine and trying to keep from reverting to what I did yesterday. And you guys are going, well, what'd you do yesterday? Well, yesterday ended up being a, I did not use yesterday's video. They went downhill fast, so. Uh, and as a couple of you made clear, I guess you don't really want to hear about it, so. Well, well, yeah, so. I guess. I really don't. Just trying to stay in a good mood. A lot of things are just piling up, but it just, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna go get medicine. Looks like another damn hog fiber going up. <laughs> what are they gonna learn growing these hogs in a confined building like that is not good. Oh, big ass sight. Well, I don't know what those are. They're not hogs. They're not slatted floors. Huh. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so not much going on. Pretty much at a dead stop. Uh, can't get anywhere. Still waiting on. Uh, I gotta go to the lung doctor now to see what's going on. Still waiting on parts for the vet. I'm glad to see that. They leveled the old farm place and I thought they were taking it out farm ground, but it looks like they're building in there. So yeah, I'm kind of jumpy all over and I've been out of one of my medicines uh, yesterday and today and I think that might be more my part of my issues coming from because uh, if you guys knew what was going on inside me right now, and I'm trying to keep a calm head, trying to just stay relaxed and that, but I can feel myself slipping back to what I did did yesterday and uh, things are just out of control. Uh, nobody has any compassion for people because uh, hard times, I mean, <laughs> and this medical stuff, you know, it's pretty bad when going to the doctor costs more than what you could make in a year. I mean, and then the medicines. Where, how do they ever figure that's ever going to pencil out right where going to a doctor costs more than what you can make in a week? I mean, that's, it's not penciling out. It's not working. That's why we got the crisis we do here in this country because our country seems to be the only one we can't afford a medical in. I mean, we got friends in Canada that say, hey, we ain't got no problem. But here in the U.S., we can't figure out how to take care of our people without having it cost more than what they physically can make. Come on, really? And too many people are too afraid to help one another anymore. I mean, it's coming all, it's, oh, you got trouble, so we can't help you. You know what, if you gave a person two, three, five bucks, so, just something, you know? And don't say that ain't going to make a difference because, you know, people buy lottery tickets and you're spending a buck or two and look at how many millions can be given away in the lotto because everybody contributes. We can contribute to lotteries and that, but we can't contribute to helping make somebody else's life better and... Uh, helping them get self-sufficient again yeah I just I just don't get where the rhyming reasoning is in this country anymore I mean God's got to be looking down at us and saying what has happened to you people I guess uh, we're going to go get some medicines. See if that helps me bring me back to the where I can handle life shit. <laughs> I mean, I just 
I don't know. I guess I don't really know too much today, so I don't know. Might be another day of videoing that I don't use. I don't know. And if I did, I guess, eh. It's my freedom of speech. I can say what I want. I can do what I want. And uh, within the confines of law, I mean, you got to follow the laws. You just can't do everything, but... Uh, something that better to say. I'll be back. Well, we got medicine here. And I got that taken. Grab a quick bite to eat because I'm going to go do something else later with the wife. Um, so I wasn't taking that medicine on an empty stomach. I kind of feel bad for myself, but uh, I broke down been a long time without any, I mean a very long time, again, and I just, water wasn't cutting it, and milk hasn't been cutting it, and I wish everybody could know the fight, the fight that's going on inside me right now, I mean, I don't know what that's going on, all I know is, gotta get this figured out. I'm just... Uh, I always kind of wondered how a person could head for a meltdown, and I'm starting to think that's where I'm heading, is for a meltdown. I mean... I guess that's lack of better terms to put it, but this bear is about broke. I mean, not only... Well, <laughs> financially, yeah, we are. It just... Just trying to keep going, trying to hold on to what we got, not what we don't have. Just trying to keep what we have. And uh, one of you have been talking to me, and I really appreciate it. I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad you come into my life. I am. I am. Well, a couple of you are, whatever you should say. Oh, excuse me. I just don't know what internally what's going on. I mean, that's it's crazy. I don't understand why what it is, but uh, getting tough. Yeah, I mean, well, not really getting tough. They've been tough for many years. It's just... And I know I need to do more, but uh, what do you do when your body says, no, you're not? I mean, I get to the point where I can work until I feel like I'm going to drop. I mean, when I mean drop, I mean, I can't take another step. I'm going to hit the floor pass out, maybe not wake up, drop. I mean... But anyway... Get this medicine back in me and... So on the inside, it just felt like every little thing was magnifying, and I don't understand why. Uh, I... I I don't. And I'm not that way. I don't use little things. Don't get to me. I mean, it usually takes something big. But uh, I don't know. I want to have to talk to my doctor. I don't know. Maybe I might have to take a vacation. Go and talk with somebody. But. Then that throws another label on you, and then people look at you more different yet, too, so. Just trying to keep it together, guys. Just trying, real hard. Yesterday, yesterday and today, 
out of all the things that have happened in my life, I'd say yesterday and today so far have been the hardest two days of my life, and I don't know why. I mean, my mom died in my hands. My sister begged me to take her out the night before she died. She wanted out of the hospital. She just wanted to go have fun. And my dad, I had just left, go home to make arrangements for somebody to watch the kids. And I get the call that if you want to see him before he goes, you better get back out here. And I was like two minutes away from the nursing home, where it's where we live. And I got met at the door by an aunt, said it's too late, and he's gone. And yeah. That all happened within a short period of time. Thought I handled that pretty good, then I find out years later I hadn't. Uh, last night I slept for 14 and a half hours because I just didn't want to talk to the family. I didn't want to do it anymore because my mood was just going to create more issues. So I went to bed. I slept for 14 and a half hours. And... Uh, I had some major dreams. I mean, a lot of dreams. A lot of things. I mean, helping somebody pour concrete that I'm really surprised I wouldn't even be talking to this person. But yet, I was helping to pour concrete and trying to save people from drowning, save myself and another person from drowning in it. I'm like, what the heck is that? Woke me up. And then um, other dreams over property and just, yes, I slept for 14 and a half hours, but I didn't sleep. But I well, know I woke up a couple of times for a couple minutes at 3.30 this morning. I was up and I sat there for about 10 minutes. I was so dry and flimmed up and took water and ended up just... I guess I know there's something wrong, but I just can't put my finger on what's wrong. What, what's going on? So, I guess. This will be long enough for today. And the way I'm feeling, I'm just like, I don't care. So, I guess just putting it out there. I guess if you guys don't see a few videos for a while or whatever, yeah, I'll understand now why they may not come for a few days. I, I don't know. But, uh... I just don't know what to do. I'm starting to feel broken and not able to be fixed. So, Alright. My wife and I are going to do something this afternoon. Maybe that'll help take the mind off things, but... I'm mad at myself for breaking down and buying a pot, but boy, that is some relief I have, haven't had in a long time. I mean, I haven't been drinking pop for about two years now. I had a little this summer that I fussed up to, you know. And it's been about a month and a half, two months since I've had any again. And, uh... Thank you guys. Thank you.